From animated movies and online gaming to the crypto metaverse, most popular forms of digital entertainment rely heavily on motion graphics and three-dimensional visual effects. 3D graphics also have a variety of industrial applications, ranging from product prototyping and simulation to scientific and architectural visualization. Growing demand for high-definition user experiences has also significantly increased the need for 3D rendering, which is how a device's graphics processing unit converts a 3D model into a visual display with texture and detail. This process of converting data into visual 3D graphics requires complex algorithmic calculations, and rendering it is arguably the most important and computationally tricky step of the 3D graphics creation pipeline. The 3D rendering process is further complicated when graphics need to be generated in real time, as in digital games and virtual reality environments. As the demand for immersive digital worlds grows, so will the need for the complex computations that make those worlds possible. The Render Token project introduces a host of new opportunities to digital creators. The network was built to provide content creators access to distributed GPU rendering services on the blockchain. The platform allows users to share their GPU power seamlessly. In return for their efforts, users receive rewards. In this way, Render Token provides much-needed computational power to artists, developers, and studios. Render is a platform that lets users contribute unused GPU power from their home devices to help projects render motion graphics and visual effects. In exchange, they earn the Render Token, the native utility of the Render Network. By creating a peer-to-peer -peer network upon which people can tap into underutilized computational power cheaply and efficiently, Render dramatically simplifies the traditional processes of rendering and streaming 3D environments and other visual effects. The protocol has been actively engaged in emerging phenomena such as non-fungible tokens NFTs and the metaverse, forming collaborations with other platforms and individuals operating in those domains. Render has some blockchain technology partners. One of them is Decentraland, a virtual blockchain. Another is SiaCoin, a decentralized storage platform that is secured by blockchain. A constituent of digital advertising blockchain is called Basic Attention Token, and Algorand, a borderless economy, is also a partner of Render Network. Render's The Visual World is evolving at a very high speed, as authoring and public graphics is a huge challenge, and the demand for high complex resolution and interactivity is increasing. RNDR makes the streaming and rendering process more accessible for all virtual users, and jobs are transferred from a peer-to-peer -peer network. It will also change crowdsourced 3D projects into digital rights management, transforming into a new marketplace for everyone to fund digital ideas, assets, and applications. The RNDR network creates a new scaled and efficient holographic media production level. The network ecosystem allows the developers to monetize their idle GPUs by getting tokens for performing renders, resolving the inefficiency. Accumulated RNDR tokens can be used repeatedly to provide the users with elasticity and rapid scaling. Along with this, the render network can easily detect untrusted nodes with end-to-end -end traceability. The network also removes the bottleneck at the final rendering stage, unleashing artistic creativity in new dimensions, making it cost-effective and speed-effective. The Render Token ecosystem lives on the Ethereum blockchain. The network inherits the security and interoperability of this network. For instance, RNDR token holders can save their tokens in any ERC-20 compatible wallet. Additionally, these tokens can be traded on any ERC-20 consistent exchange. In the Render Token ecosystem, users submit their jobs to the community. The platform automatically calculates the amount of RNDR required to perform the job. This data is then sent as an attachment that details the specifics of a smart contract. The information is then broadcast across the render network. Notably, GPU owners use Octane Render to process the requested job. Render Token allows anyone to share their unused GPU power with ease. The system eliminates the technical barriers associated with computational network systems. The system connects users looking to perform render jobs with people who have idle GPUs. This strategy saves the users significant time and money since they don't need high-end computers to handle these tasks in-house. All transactions on the Render Network are denominated in RNDR, the ERC-20 utility token used by creators to pay for on-demand GPU computer provided by node operators. RNDR's total supply is capped at 536,870,912 tokens. RNDR was first released through a public token sale in October 2017, followed by a private sale from January 2018 to May 2018. 25% of the RNDR tokens were sold to the public, 
10% were allocated to the RNDR reserve, and the remaining 65% are currently held in escrow to help modulate the network's supply and demand flow. The Render Network recently introduced RNDR credits, which let creators purchase rendering power on the network using PayPal and Stripe. These credits are non-exchangeable and only usable on the network. Therefore, even though RNDR token will remain the primary means of exchange for the Render Network, the platform is rolling out more user-friendly ways for non-technical creators to tap into these decentralized services. Render Network achieved a significant milestone in February 2022, when it was listed on Coinbase, one of the world's foremost cryptocurrency exchanges. Render token holders can now purchase and sell the token on the Coinbase and Coinbase Pro exchanges. Render Network partnered with Multicoin Capital in January 2022 to help power the platform's next phase, enabling Render to transition from a decentralized GPU computing platform to a metaverse. The pair are working to extend the network's capacities to enable next-generation NFTs, real-time streaming sessions, and a marketplace of the software development kit-based services implemented on top of distributed GPU rendering. Render integrated with Solana and Metaplex in November 2021, bringing the network's fundamental architecture to Solana. Render Network aspires to become a platform where artists can produce content, art, and tools issued and owned locally on Solana with distribution and revenue collection handled directly by Metaplex. Solana's high throughput and low latency will allow decentralization of essential rendering functions to the degree that has not been achieved on the network yet. In March 2021, Render Network partnered with Polygon Network, a platform for Ethereum scaling and infrastructure development, to provide a Layer 2 scaling solution that would significantly cut transaction costs and latency. Additionally, this collaboration aims to reduce the environmental effect of the Ethereum ecosystem by converting RNDR transactions from the high-energy proof-of-work paradigm to a less energy-intensive proof-of-stake model. RNDR token has been a fast-growing and high-yielding cryptocurrency that has returned an ROI of 8,399% since its inception, according to CoinMarketCap on 9 February. Based on the earliest available price data, RNDR's token price declined from $0.056 on 11 June 2020 to its all-time low of $0.036 on 16 June. The price remained broadly flat until spiking upwards to close 27 August at $0.269, a massive increase of 647% in less than three months. The price kept declining through the rest of the year, and it closed the year at $0.105, nearly 61% down from the August peak. The RNDR token's price continued to fall at the start of 2021, reaching $0.093 on 13 January. From there, the price action turned bullish, and the RNDR token reached $2.498 on 27 March, representing an increase of 2,586% in less than three months. Following the rally, the price retraced, and the RNDR token declined more than 79%, reaching $0.522 on 23 May. It then slid to $0.396 on 22 June. After the dip, the RNDR token's price slowly climbed, hitting $0.993 on 1 November before surging to its all-time high with an intraday price of $8.76 on 21 November, a massive gain of 782% in less than a month. It closed the year more than 47% lower at $4.611. RNDR's token price has been bearish since the onset of 2022. It dropped to a 90-day low of $1.81 on 24 January. After that, however, it gained more than 130% and reached a 30-day high of $4.17 on 2 February. This gain coincided with the RNDR token's listing on Coinbase. On 9 February, Coin Codex's render token sentiment was bearish, with 10 indicators giving a bullish signal and 17 bearish. The daily simple moving averages and exponential moving averages, except for the SMA21, SMA200, and EMA200, as well as the stochastic RSI, Stoke RSI, and relative strength index, all indicated sell signals. The hull moving average, volume weighted moving averages, and the average directional index were bullish. Meanwhile, the Williams percentage range and the moving average convergence divergence stayed neutral. According to the short-term render token price prediction from Coin Codex, the coin's price could reach $3.13 by 14 February 2022. Meanwhile, algorithm-based forecasters shared some longer-term RNDR forecasts. According to Wallet Investor, the coin's average price could reach $7.80 by the end of 2022 and surge to $21.72 by 2025. 
The five-year estimate for RNDR USD indicated that it could hit $26.84 by February 2027. According to PricePrediction.net, the average price of RNDR could reach $5.07 in 2022, $15.56 in 2025, and $101.74 in 2030. Its 10-year RNDR price prediction indicated the coin could get $143.57 in 2031. Render Network's decentralized GPU sharing network can benefit a vast and impressive spectrum of industries and use cases. Unlike projects that claim to be an all-encompassing blockchain solutions that users can build anything on, Render has focused on one specific subsector, GPU rendering power, and provides a democratized solution to the burgeoning computational needs of the digital realm. It's essential to do your own research before investing. Your decision to trade depends on your attitude to risk, your expertise in the market, the spread of the investment portfolio, and how comfortable you feel about losing money. You should never invest money that you cannot afford to lose. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on RNDR? Let us know in the comments section down below. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos, then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest cryptocurrency news. Thanks for watching. We hope you have a great day today, and as always, we'll see you in the next video.